Hi guys, nice to see ya. I hope you guys had a lovely time over on Pixel Stream. I have been looking for the update to come out, but unfortunately, I don't see it yet. So, hi everyone. Jack, that is not very fun. I think you should be able to have beer at the gym, personally. Steel needs to get more wine. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I promise. I know, people are on time for once. Gaza, mm. that's boring. That's absolutely boring. Hey guys, nice to see y'all, nice to see y'all. Welcome to the stream. So, uh, we saw a little bit of the touch, um from Pixel's stream, or the War Dragon stream technically, about the new Obsidians, and they are not out yet. I don't have an update on my iPhone, oops, on my iPhone or on my um, iPad, so that's unfortunate. I know there's not an Android out yet either, so. Nice, Griffin! Well done, well done, well done. You guys are doing so well. Yeah, Falcon on Fire, congrats on the chess, man. I'm kind of jelly. <laughs> So, hey guys, nice to see ya. I'm Red. If you are on my stream for the very first time, welcome. Um, I stream back and forth between my two accounts. So we're currently on my main account, which is Red. Nothing else. I'm the Red in game. That's why people call me Red is because um, my name is, my name's Red. <laughs> so, Yay! So, a couple of things. The new AI is coming. The update should be here tonight. Um, sadly, it's not up out yet. Has a new UI, um, has more dragons, etc. So, for those of you that know, I do breeding pals like a crazy person, um, but I really need Amoeba to release the game data um, to the public and to me in order to make my breeding pads. So, we'll go on that. So, Bolt, congrats! How is it? Is the best? How did I get so many egg tokens? Uh, <laughs> lots of work. <laughs> That's why um, it's not going to be quite enough here yet. But hey guys. Hey Nadia. Art? Is that art? Yeah. I don't see a breeding event in my game. Why is that? Uh, Faded, have you restarted your game? If that doesn't work, reinstall the game. Most of the bugs and glitches that are small like that, if you just reinstall the game, it typically fixes all that whatnot. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about how to do the breeding event and how to make sure you don't lose any process progress. So if any of you have lost progress in the game before due to resyncs, things like that, it sucks. So the best thing I can re remind you to do is take a screenshot of your device before you start breeding. So you can also see here, I can't click on my breeding castle because it's updating because <laughs> it takes forever. But fear not, thanks for following Faded Requiem, fear not that we can go in through the breeding event tab here and click go, um, go breed and it'll take us to the castle even if our castle is under construction. So this is a super important thing to know um, so you don't panic and waste clocks. So go to breeding. Here we go. Um, any info on new brack breeds for emeralds? So I killed the drag. I have to wait for the game data to be released to me in order to check for new back breeds. So um, do your points only go, go up to 19.5k? Um, not sure. <laughs> Max, suck a dick. <laughs> oh, Dally, I'm sorry. Don't mean to make you cry, honey. While starting out with 50 people, hey, we like hanging out. So this is super important. Make sure people know they can go breed. Um, I am doing Stormheim today, um, which means, oh, I need to get Renard breedable. That's something Red neglected to do. Let's go get Renard breedable. I think I'm using Renard. Let's go get her. Open all my chests and use all my rubies and get garbage. Oh, that sucks, Elzier. I typically wait to open chests and spend rubies um, till about the second day of the event in case there are any issues. <laughs> Fair. Hey, Mandy. Is it Mad Man Danny? Man Danny, welcome to the stream. I'm Red. I am not affiliated with PG in any way. I'm a player. I like to stream. And we like to talk about stuff. Yeah, this is, this is just what we do. Oh, Art, I'm so sorry. See, Zippy, I've been working so hard on my language to be more family friendly, and it sucks. Unless you're being sarcastic. <laughs> hey, how's it? Mercy is? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, and I drink um, every stream, just about. So if you guys are curious and want to hang out with me streaming, make sure you tap your screen if you're on mobile. Make sure the heart is filled in so you get that. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter name is the Red Delilah. Um, same as is here on Twitch, and you can get notifications when I'm going to go live. I usually stream at least three days a week, sometimes crazy amounts of days. Eh, why not? So 
Do I spend money? Uh, very rarely do I spend money. Um, hold on. Let me get, before I forget, let me get Renard on my roster so I can get the little shit breedable. I completely forgot. <laughs> All right. Um, I spend very rarely. I've just been playing for a long time. Um, so I've been playing for two and a half years. And what I tell everyone is that you need to do three, two of three things in this game. You need to spend, play for a long time, or be really active. So I've been playing for a long time and I'm really active. Um, if you haven't been playing for a long time, if you want to catch up, uh, you have to spend and be really active, things like that. So yeah. So yeah, the chest issue is definitely there. Thanks for hosting Big RCT. Happy to help. <laughs> Sorry, Zippy. Well, Mac does need to suck a dick, so. Um, uh, I killed a drag says, I'm bringing Xenot, then need Storm to get knocked. Pisses me off that I breed two useless mystics to get knocked. Uh, I killed a drag! I hear you! I have to get freaking Gloomclaw this event. Ugh. No bueno. <laughs> we need a swear jar? What will we do with all the money? There's gonna be thousands of dollars in that. Yeah, fantastic. I think they fixed it now. Hey, Texas. Texas. Um, so I don't know what the hell happened. Texas used to be in my league. Um, somehow Ruleth stayed in Diamond. I have no idea how the hell that happened. So. <laughs> doop -a -doop -a -doop. Buy a 12 pack. Are you buying me a 12 pack? Because that would be nice. I would enjoy that. Doop -doop. Um, so I give away packs on Sundays um, and other things. Today's not a pack day, so. Boo boo! <laughs> I still don't get the cheers. I really just don't get it. It confuses the hell out of me. So let's go get shitty little Renard breedable. Is he, does he even level one? <laughs> oh shit. I hatched this little shit. And, yeah. I am excited today. It's breeding event, which is my favorite event. Maybe your volume is too loud. So the kids were actually better today. There was a little, so I'm a teacher for those of you that are new to our stream. Um, I had a kiddo that yesterday was just a little dick. And um, today he came and apologized to me. So it was really, really sweet. So I was happy. <laughs> did I did find the lost beer. It was in my bathroom. <laughs> I must've gone in there to like brush my hair or something like that. Hey, see you later, Palix. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, before we do our XP runs to get Renard breedable, we have to do XP runs on my ulti alt. So, oops. So for those of you who are not familiar with my stream, I do stream on two different accounts. So we're just on my main account. Now we're going to switch to uh, my alt account. I need to use some multipliers there so I can back myself up. So the kid, uh, I think he means well. I think he was just embarrassed that he got called out yesterday. All right, Drex. Uh, Drex, I typically don't answer mails on stream. Um, and if you sent a mail to my main account, I am a little behind on mails and things like that. So he's not still a dick. Oh, Kiyoki. Let's go to my iPad Air. So this is my mini account, my level 158. This is a purely free account um, with two little exceptions. One, I can still get, um, I still get Elite. And the second thing is I did get some birthday gifts um, and a handful of really tiny thank you gifts from people throughout the year that I've been playing this account. So other than that, it is a free account, so which is really neat. <laughs> yeah, I play two accounts. This is my perfect account that I love the most. So <laughs> the mini gets spoiled with the iPad Air. Um, my favorite account to play is this account. It is perfect. I really enjoy it. I always feel like I can progress. And my main account, I feel like it's a little bit more fresh on your play. Yeah, I'll answer your directs. Uh, typically, a half hour after I end streaming is when I start to answer mails again. I still, I'm down to 60 line messages, which is nice. So I'm catching up on those um, in Breeding Pass because it is Breeding Pass season. So let's go do um, some XP runs here with How's It? How's It's a Mythic Sapphire. Love, love, love. This is my favorite dragon in the whole game um, because I don't have an Actua. Second best dragon in the game next to Noctua, I would say, and a lot of people would agree with me. Um, oh, I didn't need to boost him. And we're just flying on XP base. So, so um, just your average man, you just post it in chat. And I will answer you in just a second. So, like, I struggle to fly and read chat at the same time um, because I already fly terribly when I'm distracted. <laughs> And I'm distracted by chatting with you beautiful people. Um, so don't be offended if I take a minute to respond back to you. Yeah. So 
I have Necrix and Sapphires um, on stones, but extra sigils do. Spest waiting for the revealed. I um, suggest your average man, if you don't already have the double token mission or the double token bonus, which is on the bonus branch of Chimrock, get that um, and then spend, and then wait and choose the rest of your sigils on either the new reveal or something else. I am a hunter lover because I believe hunters are the best dragons in the game. Um, they're the most versatile dragons. If you guys remember the assault event, um, during the assault event with this account, I got um, to level 400 and this account was level 138. I got over 80% or I, was it over 70% on that level 400 base um, with just because I could use hunters. So hunters are the most versatile class in the game without a doubt in my mind. Um, and I get that other people can like other classes. That's fine. You like what class you like, um, but I firmly believe that hunters are the best class in the game. Um, at the high tier, followed by sorcerers, warriors are the worst. At the low tier, I would say that warriors are the best. Um, and by low, I mean below level 84. So, so something like that. How to breed Dodo. So um, I could pull it up in a second. If you go to my Twitter page, though, which is the same as this here, so twitter.com forward slash the red Delilah, I did post a graphic there um, that tells you the two different versions. I believe it's Huggin' and Yersnu and Dodo Pure and Dodo are the parents for Donna Villas. Um, and the other two dragons, I don't believe, Do Dodo and Pure and Dodo, I do not believe are available for breeding right now. I think they're only available during certain events, and this is not one of those, so... Boop. Wee. I've been getting spoiled since I started leveling up my uh, how's it. <laughs> I've been getting worse. So. Yeah, that's definitely what I would do. So let me catch up on chat here. Alt is my favorite account as well. Um, An average for sure. Okay, thank you so much. I'll call you average. So Dodo, um, Arturo, I do not believe is available right now. I have Red's line. I can't. <gasps> Bilbo, my line name is Red Delilah, so no the. Add me online. I love seeing pictures of puppies. Um, this is really impressive to get to 400. Thank you. I worked really hard. It's actually on um, Twitch here. If you guys want to go check it out, it, you'll. It's like called the Assault Event Day Two that I hit the 400 there. Um, at one point I was just working on Hunters, but then Canaris was released. Uh, we won't go down the Canaris talk. <laughs> So, to start the Chimrak line for the egg tokens, yes. So, do Chimrak and then make sure you're uh, picking the right line at the end of it. You'll see. Let's go look at it. I'll show you exactly what I mean, average. Um, hey, congrats, Hoyt. But you kind of are a badass. So, that's that. I disagree, Zardak. I do not believe Canaris is the, the stronger thing there. So, hey, lady. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Uh, congrats, Griffin. So with a 100 token bonus for those who don't, um, aren't familiar, so Chimrak right here. And then if we scroll down, um, you want to make sure you're c collecting on the right tier. It was flipped early today, which is really weird. This is the 100% token bonus. It does not stack with the breeding event token bonus, but this is something everyone should get. It'll make your progression go so much faster in game, especially if you're active. So, um... It's a crazy token boost. I love it. So it's so much fun. Right now, everyone does have double tokens, which is helpful. Um, but I get that token boost every single season. I'll get that um, next. It helps out more than anything ever has. So yeah. Yay, Texas. Everyone needs a beer. So we needed two more XP runs on Howzit. And then we can use Howzit to make my Renard breedable so I can get Gloomclaw. Yay. It's my sarcastic yay. Gloomclaw's a piece of shit. Mm -mm. Do not like, do not like. Yeah. Texas, I'm so glad that you have a beer. I miss you so much in uh, League Chat, though, Texas. It makes me sad inside. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I think I'm going to redo my overlay, which is the screen you see. I don't like what it looks like um, when I'm on my iPad. It doesn't take up enough of the screen. Though, I will say, I'm getting a new iPhone. So I might keep my 6 plus, which is what my main account is on, and then put my baby and keep my alt or my main account on there. Oh, motherfucker. That's okay. I only need 6 or 50%. Um, put my main account on the 6 plus, which it is now, and then put my alt account on the 7 plus. Um, that way it'll look a little bit better. So. <laughs> oh, I'm flying this wrong. Uh, to do this with how's it, I should have used crumble to dust. Oh, yeah. 
Not my best flight, but that's okay. We just need 50% for max XP. I have to keep you up to date with so many ranking points. Yeah. Oh, Texas. I seriously miss you guys. Um, you need to get your ass up here. You guys being down there is not acceptable. <laughs> so come back, please. What is backbreeding? Backbreeding is when you use a particular set of parents to get a dragon for cheaper than its original cost. So to use gold legendaries, for instance, they are typically 100,000 tokens, but there are some backbreeds if you want to get additional gold legendaries that only cost 5,000 tokens. So that's a crazy difference. Um, so backbreeding just allows you to save tokens and breed efficiently. That is why it's super important to have a breeding path because um, breeding paths will save you tokens as long as the breeding path is up to date. Doop -doop. And I love breeding paths. If you guys don't know me, um, that's kind of, I guess, my claim to fame <laughs> in War Dragons is breeding paths. I love breeding paths because they're so great. Um, I just love spreadsheets in general. That's my thing. Breeding paths are my thing. Not a great flight, but well over max XP. That's what we need. Doop -doop -doop. Hey, Aunt! Nice to see you. Nice to see ya. So happy to have you guys here. Um, as always, if you guys end up having any questions or um, whatnot with streams and dragons, um, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. Um, Zardex says, are there any videos that optimize hunter runs and abilities? Yes! Um, I actually made several Zardex, so if you check out my YouTube channel, let me get you a link here. Um, I'll give you my basic guide to flying hunters. Doop -a -doop. I'll find it. Ha. Okay. Here we go. Click. Hey guys, it's Red. I wanted to make a video for you to... There we go. That is my guide, my basic guide to flying hunters. And when you're on there as well, you can click that and just see... Um, some of the other videos I see on my channel. So I have a how's it video. I'm doing a second video this week. I'll do a Necrix video as soon as I get them to Sapphire. Um, things like that. So I'm happy to help um, with videos. I love hunters. They're my fave. <laughs> you. Just got the extra token boot aside. That many extra sigils. Nice. Congrats, Average. That is a fantastic thing to get. I promise. Fantastic. Um, have you shared your breeding pass? Yep. So if you're in chat, you can type exclamation point. Breeding paths um, for my master breeding pass, or you can do exclamation point Rulith, which is my team name, and you can take a look at my team website, which has some breeding paths um, below Sapphire as well. Doop -a -doop. Um, and always, if you guys need custom breeding paths, that means that you are so far off the breeding path, either by one dragon or a thousand dragons, um, I'm happy to help and make you a new one. You have to send me a message online. My line name is Red Delilah, so know the. Um, add me there, and I will put you in line <laughs> to get custom breeding paths. I make um, about 50 or more custom breeding paths every event, so it does take me a while. So, yeah. Doop. Doop. Um, I just watched Pixel on our individual channel, dude. Not even pretty me. I can keep up with the girl. I love Pixel. Um, so I get to go to PG next month um, for the Atlas launch event. They are taking me out there. I'm so excited to hang out with Pixel. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I hope her and I get to go to the bar together. So, yeah. Thanks for all the bringing pack. Thanks. Why don't I ever open the care packages? Uh, what are you talking about, Steel? I don't know. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, Boo Bear. Oh, are you talking about the, um, your teammate purchased a thing. Go open it. Is that what you're talking about? Those little bits. Hey, Duchess. Um, Elsie said I just got the 100% token bonus. Um, hopefully it makes it. Yes, it does. So the token bonus <laughs> is the best thing PG has ever given us, in my opinion. Um, when I work really hard, if I have nothing else to do for a weekend, I can usually um, do speeding up missions and get like 30,000 missions a weekend, um, which is really helpful. Um, yeah, so especially if you're an active player, the token bonus is fantastic. So, yeah. Where is PG located? PG is in San Francisco, California. So I'll be flying out there um, at the end of October.
YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, I actually open those every day. <laughs> um, I just typically have a lot, so I open them once or twice a day, and then I stop because I have other things to do. Is that bad that I have that many to open? <laughs> Definitely not my best flight. Ah, so close. Um, I get almost 2,000 tokens a day with token bonus. It's, that's fantastic, and I love it. Oh, I'm going to take tons of pictures. I actually plan on doing some live streaming there um, and doing some video logs so you guys can see around PG if they let me show you. And I'm going to, so like, send selfies. I'm going to take selfies with Pixel and with Jared and with Echo and a couple other things. So it's going to be so much fun. I'm really excited. So. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys how to do um, token hunting tomorrow. Maybe we did it today, actually. So make sure you're following my channel so you can get those notifications. Um, let's switch back to my main account so we can do Renard runs here. So there is a mathematical system to using your token missions effectively versus your ruby cost and your token payout. So I'm going to talk about that really extensively tomorrow um, to show you. <laughs> and with Havoc oh yes Havoc Reed one of the artists at PG I'm so excited to meet Havoc it's going to be such a great time alright let's go do this run with poopy little Renard here um, and we'll back up with my alt account so it'll be fun to those of you that notice that my eyes look really creepy when I stream, I'm so sorry. I have green eyes, and so my green screen filter actually makes my eyes go transparent <laughs> so if I ever get like creepy white or black eyes, I'm sorry about that Oh, Gaza, I hope work is okay. Yeah, I'm going to the party. Ah, if you're there, Average, it'd be so much fun to meet up with you guys. We'll have a good time. So, yep, I'll be at the ALS launch party. Plan out Thursday, and I think I'm coming back Sunday. So, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I do have transparent eyes right now. You guys, can, you guys are probably going to notice that a little bit more. I see myself bigger on my screen than you guys see me, so who knows. All right, where's Poopy Little Renard? We're going to put, I have a handful of XP boosts, I think. Yeah. Mm. Actually, this is a great opportunity to use Red so Let's Get Breedable. Ah! Let's do this. So, I have a lovely thing called Red Le Red's Let's Get Breedable. Let me open that up to show you guys. What are the dates for? October 26th um, through the 28th, I believe. Yeah, Mech and I are having a competition to see who can hunt the most. <laughs> Waiting for how's it? Oh, that was a bitch. I know. Um, so Zardak, I wasn't part of the like uh, event or the competition to win stuff. Um, I'm going out because I'm a member of the creator section and because I stream. So PG is flying me out there. So we're gonna switch here to my phone. Um, you guys are taking a look at Reds. Let's get breedable. Let me share this with you guys. So how I'm going to share this here, the link that's coming in chat, if you guys want to use this, I f forgot to update this to below platinum, but if you click that link in chat, it'll take you to a copy of this. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say that my base is 129,000, oops, 200, no, it's 129, right? 29,000. Um, shows you how much I get with Elite. This is a Legendary Garnet. It's currently level 1. Um, days to do multis. We have 5 days. Um, let's see how many runs. So it'll be 43 runs after multis. So yeah, we're going to use some 100% boost. So yeah. <sighs> I hate Renard. I'm not looking forward to this, guys. I'll probably end up using potions. So oh well. So let's go back here. All right, let's close out of that. Okay, let's go back to Layphone. <sighs> Come on, Renard. I should have been, I can't believe I didn't even like start to get him readable. This is all on me. Stupid red. Well, that's okay. It is what it is. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Renard. Bye, Max. See you later. I'll kick your ass later with um, tokens. <laughs> Did 
do, ba do. Congrats! Uh, I actually, Kaiju was one of the warriors I didn't mind. Um, I really enjoy Kaiju, Kaiju's spells. So, congrats on Kaiju, man. Wait, I'm in the faction, but I don't have a fill. So, I would say that I don't have an affiliation with PG, um, especially because I just joined the Creators faction. Um, PG doesn't, I don't know, tell me what to do or whatnot. I don't know. Depends how you look at it, I guess. But no, I don't consider I, I'm not a, I'm not a person of PG. I get asked a lot, Odin, um, if I'm a staff member of PG. So I try to be extra clear that I don't work for PG, um, because that's the most answered question I get. Kaiju is also really pretty. I really like that. Doop. I'm not doing very well in this run. I'm reading chat too much. Nice, Average. Hey, Forge, how's it going? We have no new dragons yet, but um, we are told that the new update will be out today, which means new dragons today. And as soon as I get those game files, you guys know I will begin diligently working on looking for changes and making updates to all breeding paths. So, majestic flap, flap. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Forged. Beauty day. <laughs> This is what happens when I put on makeup, I guess. All right. It did, it, did it say make a copy of this, Texas, or no? What did it say when you clicked that link? Just a clap flap. That's my new favorite. <laughs> yeah. I love Rizar. I just got Sekhem out of my main. I like Sekhem too. Sekhem's a lot of fun. Rizar's actually also great. I believe that the new interface is coming today as well, Ant. So. Da, da, da. Same, Odin's pixel was harassing me for about three months um, and then finally sent me another email last month. It's like, look, can you just please join? Because <laughs> uh, she wanted to send me some stuff, so but she couldn't do that without me being in the faction. So, yeah, I, I was harassed for quite a while. I was actually avoiding joining it. Um, Red, can you read those messages you got again? Have you, <laughs> oh, my hate mail? My hate mail is great. Um, oh, I would love to be flying those Max, those Max Obsidians. That would be so much fun. I love Pixel. I really do. Um, but you know, she doesn't play War Dragons as much as I do, I would say. So, yeah, it'd be fun. I would enjoy flying those Max Dragons. I'll get there one day. I'm patient. Uh, uh, uh. They hate me. I'll, I don't know if I still have it. <laughs> oh, I'll hate mail. My hate mail is just hilarious. It makes me happy inside. Um, so I actually asked them to send me stuff um, in the creators faction for that reason, but I don't think they can make the game files as readable um, as Amoeba can just because I'm used to reading it like Amoeba. So I don't know. I'll just, I'll love Amoeba and beg him and donate like I usually do and recommend that you guys donate to him as well. Um, Amoeba is a fantastic, lovely person. And I'm really thankful for the hard work that he does for a game that he no longer plays. Oh, mother fuck. Because um, <laughs> Amoeba quit quite a while ago. But he still loves us enough to help us all in the game out by giving us all these resources on his website. So, Yeah, you did, Jack. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, what's up, Forge? How can I help? I love seeing people's hate mail. Yeah, Jack sent it to me on uh, online. Um, Amiibo was playing for a long time, and it just wasn't a game that he wanted to play anymore, um, you know, due to some greed and different things. Um, not his greed. Um, and just, he decided to not play anymore, so he moved on. What is Backbreed for Wraith? I will look that up as soon as I'm done with this flight, okay? I'll pull up my, my last brain and pios. 
<laughs> I'm not flying house at well tonight. Maybe it's because I destroyed that trebuchet. Is that what's throwing me off? Um, Nactua it will beat any dragon out of the water, um, Fairfro. So Nactua is the best dragon in the game. Um, I would dare say not a lot of people would disagree with that. Do you ever make Google Docs folder for all your spreadsheets? I miss the Let's Get Readable link. Yeah, um, I'll send that out. I've been meaning to do that, and I have somebody that's supposed to remind me to get stuff done, and she does, uh, for the record. Remind me fairly, ah, motherfucker. Um, remind me very, very well. I just, I have to get my stuff together. It's also, I'll send it out on um, Twitter as well. If you want to click the link that I'll put out on Twitter if I haven't put it out there before um, to make sure you guys can get that link. So it's my let, red, Reds, Let's Get Breedable. I do have to add some lower tier dragons to it. I originally made it just for my team, um, but a lot of people have requested to use it. So yeah, I'll share it out with people. Yeah, I love Noxious Vines. It's fantastic. So. I always blame Tim Kitten, even though she's fantastic. So I missed a little bit there. That's okay. All right. Let's me pull up my brain and pie. So especially a lot of you, if you're not familiar with my brain and they're very difficult to read, I'm told. Whatever. Um, to each their own. Do, do, do. Okay. Da, 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 da. Click. Okay. Let's go back. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to make this just a little bit better because Google Docs is being a bitch. I don't like feeding events. I think feeding events are dumb. <laughs> they're, just, they're dumb. Come on, Google Sheets. So uh, this is my breeding path. If you're looking for this link, simply type exclamation point breeding paths, uh, plural, and this will pop up. <laughs> These are my breeding paths. If you go in, if you want to see, the, this is my very first note because it's not updated. Oops, I'm on the wrong monitor. Not updated, that's all this says. But all my sapphire to obsidian options, this is every option to breed sapphire and above dragons that exist in the game. Um, if it is red, it means it no longer exists. Um, I it was removed from the game. If it's green, it was added recently. Yellow was changed. Uh, we're looking for the wraith back breed. Let's see. The wraith back breed is Ryo and Archimera. So that's the Wraith backbreed. It's right here. Boop. You can see the cost is 15000 mm -mm. So basically, Deck 2 is the strongest dragon in the game, no doubt about it. Correct, fair foe. Um, it's because of the spells, the ease of flying, things like that, uh, before Nactua house it. If house it was as powerful as Nactua, it, it would be a toss-up, but um, they're decipherable, that's for sure. I actually just finished one of them. I'm so pretty happy. It's time to go figure out where to go for sapphires. Yay! Sapphires are fun. Um, I love my A and A starts. So how they're how my paths are red. The title of the path is the first mythic garnet that you get. So Aquilius and Osteros in this case, and then the first emerald you get is Desi, then Xena, and then Wraith. Um, I will be adding a lot more to this. If you take a look at my reds doing random things, these are a couple paths that I was messing around with in preparation for um, new uh, obsidians to come out. So I'll be doing a lot of things. And then if I am live streaming um, or doing my edits live and I have the availability to stream it, I actually stream my live edits so you guys can ask me questions. Um, and you'll see this tab will say online. It'll be the first tab. But these are my breeding pios. So yeah, this is, this is where we're at. Let's go back to the game, shall we? Doop. Ah, motherfucker. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to close. Oh, shit, I can't do it. I need to do it from this. Sorry, guys. Because Google Chrome just takes up so much freaking space and RAM. Okay. I was thinking a and I really like the OnePlus Sorcerer is what I was going to ask you about. Which one do you suggest for that? Um, so average, I really suggest any of the a and a paths or the Icicle 1 path. I think are both great. Um, the fact of the matter is you need house it. So as soon as you can get house it, the better. Yep. Doop. Okay. I think I'm doing the Icicle 1 path on my alt. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I did the A and A five path is what I'm on currently on my main. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Mm -mm -mm. I love breeding paths. 
Reading pads are super important. Knowing what you're doing with your base and knowing what you're doing with breeding, there is no alternative. You need to know to get fire. You need how. <laughs> you need how. Um, you just, you need him. He is fantastic. Other than Noctua, the best dragon in the game. So, Pros and cons, uh, Jay Fafir. I think it really depends where you're at, how much you're willing to spend, um, things like that. How's it is fantastic until you get there. All right, see you later, Mercius. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Hope to see you next time. We'll be streaming tomorrow. Oops, my game is fucking up. That's not your stream, that's my game. Ugh! I feel like my game's gonna crash. Um, that's what I'm breeding this event to is Gloomclaw. Ugh, I have to back breed him for 225,000 tokens. Yay, Zippy! Congratulations, welcome to the path of the crazy people. If you don't know what Zippy is talking about, I have a set of check-in requirements um, that I shared because people asked me to. I use it for my team, and there's an intense path that says, if you really want to be a tiny badass, follow this. And so that's what Zippy is talking about. So, um, Icicle 1 is stronger, and if you are not a heavy spender, I really recommend Icicle 1 over Icicle 3, uh, just because you get house it. That's definitely my recommendation there. So what is the difference between my numbered paths? Great question. My numbered paths have a different order of things. Um, with my ANA paths, they all have the same start, but they have a different order, especially when you get to emeralds and things like that. So if you take a look at the title, um, you can see, thanks for the follow, Dark Raven. Um, if you look in the title of the ANA paths, you can see what emeralds are received first. You can look through the path and see what emeralds it skips altogether, what emerald mythics it gets, um, what obsidians it gets, things like that. So each number path has the same mythic garnet start, but um, it's different on the, like, later on. <laughs> Gaza. Gaza, I love sarcasm. Appreciate sarcasm. Congratulations, Bull. I'm so happy for you. You're going to love him. Yay, tiny badasses. I was going to do Icicle 1, but I'm call now, not to it earlier. Yeah. So if you're already at that point, for sure, you know, do, do what's best. Oh, motherfucker, I'm going to die. Um, do what's best for your, yeah, motherfucker. That's okay. I tapped out because I got greedy. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I like Icicle 1. It's a, it's a solid path. That's for sure. <sighs> All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm jelly. Can you send me some egg tokens? <laughs> uh, uh, how is the best dragon other than Actua in the game? It is because of how is it spell sets. Um, I'll show you. How about we do that? Let's go back to my mini account. I'll fly in a not XP base for you guys. There we go. And what's I doing here? Train. Okay. Doop. Doop, 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 doop. Let's see if I don't fuck up, huh? Here we go. Now we can do Savage Takeover. Savage Takeover usually defends, though. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something a wee bit higher, but not too high. Someone has an empty base. Bookmark. Um, I want low 300s. Let's see. I do have a how video online, if you want to see. <laughs> how has the power? I have a how's it video online um, on YouTube, if you guys are interested in checking that out. I think it's fun. Um, should we do, let's do Spectre. All right. Let's see how this one goes. Those lightning towers are going to kill me if I don't do lightning resist. So, um, this is 170 million defense power. My house is 14.5 million. Slight difference. Um, less than 10% of the attack power. Let's, this isn't going to go well, but let's find out. It never hurts to uh, try. I'm going to bring back up. I'm going to add a lightning resist. What's the lowest level? 45. Joy! Um, alrighty. Let's go see what kind of a shit show Red's going to have here. I don't promise to be the best flyer in the world, but I do promise to always try. So, let's that.
You see the blue is back left and back right. Da, 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 da. Come on, baby. There we go. So let's take a look here at how this base looks for a lead. So if we scroll around, everything on this long line, like stuff for that background is sanded. Everything here is sanded, which means if I go in with um, Borgian here to clean up, these towers can't attack me. So the, the greatness of sand. So if this is a war, it'd be exceptionally useful because the attacker or the defender can't do put super shots on these. Uh, now the AI can because the AI can do it uh, split second. But defender, all they can do is heal this. They can't make it, you know, shoot a super shot at me until I've already started to attack. Now that these towers can hit me, so I can just kind of doop -a doop -a doop fly right on over. So. Doop. Oops, I accidentally unsanded that one. Alright. So, not my cleanest, best cleanup here, but oh well. But hopefully that gets you a little bit of point. What kind of drinks do you like? I wonder what PG party you'll have. I'm not a huge drinker. Not a huge drinker until I drink. Ha! Um, I like a little bit of everything. I like variety. I like some beers. I like a lot of porters. Um, don't like a lot of pale ales. Don't like IPAs. Um... I love alcohol. That's pretty simple. I like to drink quite a bit. Now, Red, why did you quit Pavic? Because these farms are a bitch. Max farms suck. So. Which path do you suggest for Nounce Bender with a balanced roster? I would suggest an Aquilus and Ostros path if you can hold off on building or Icicle 1. Those I suggest those for most people. They are the best paths. So, Am I ready in case of war? Uh, my team is. <laughs> I'm not, but my team is. Um, we are prepared every single night for war. So, doop it up. Uh, pick Ember. Oh, <laughs> what path do you suggest for Nounce Bender with a balanced roster? I said that um, as a lead, he's very strong. As a solo dragon, too, for my own level, he's exceptionally strong. So, uh, heard from a friend that's through us and the Gloomclaw is better in AA. Is it true? Uh, nope. <laughs> Nope, that's my opinion, but no, uh, because Aquilus and Ostros can still, right now, I think, take down Max Towers, even with Defenders, Gloomclaw cannot. Um, what do you think of Necrix as a starter? I think that if you're past uh, Houset or before Houset, he is fantastic. Um, drink, drink. Do you drink Bailey's? I do. <laughs> I'm glad we're the same. I, I don't know what he says. I don't. I don't watch Odin. <laughs> um, Bailey's my coffee. Hell yeah. Just hit. It's just hit time. Nah. No wars here. Yeah. I've noticed with Necrix you can sand infinite if you hit monuments and boats. So yeah. So Joker, you can use sand. Sand only goes away if you hit a tower. That's for sure. For sure. For sure. Okay. That ain't, that's my how's it thing. Um, let's do some XP runs or some um, mission runs. Um, I really need to get Renard up to snuff, but I hate Renard. Mm. Let's do my alt. Let's let's stay in this account. So how we're gonna do this here? We have to get. Let's do two runs of Scorchel, and then we're gonna get everything else off our roster, um, except for some dragons that I want to level up. So we're gonna go into view dragons here. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Forged. It's sweet. Rave Kanara for anyone that's old enough in the game to remember Rave Kanara. Kanara Ku. I liked Kanarku. One of my favorite parts of about the game back in the day. PG, bring back Kanarku. Rave Kanara. Boop, boop, boop. I say boop. I also go doo doo. I sing. Okay, so to do missions, we want to get things off of our roster that we don't really need to fly. So we're going to get Tengu off. We're going to take Zamrock off. With Scorcher, we need to do missions with, so we're going to leave him on there. We're going to take Aster off. We are going to take Nightshade off. We're going to leave Hauset on. Take um, Sekhem off because he's expert and leave Necrix. Okay. Doop. So now my roster so far looks like this. After we do Scorchal Run, I'll take Scorchal off as well. That way, when I start going through missions, it's actually going to be way better. Um, 
because I don't have to deal with as many dragons, so it's fun. I miss Kanariko too. Blue tier divine. Hell yeah! Blue tier divine that gives you an inner fire boost just for ex existing. Ah, miss Kanariko. Bring back Kanariko! Hi, kitty. I want to say hi to stream. This is Tofu. Say hi, Tofu. Hi, kitten. How you doing? Hanging out on stream? I would say so, Art. Look. Tofu's just like chilling. His bed is right behind my computer, so he sometimes just likes to hang out with us. How many hunters do you suggest in your roster? Two or three? As many as you can fucking fit. That's how many. <laughs> Tofu! Yep, Kanaraku. The great thing about Kanaraku is it gave you an inner fire boost, so it was great. My cat is adorable as shit. Hell yeah. Bye, Zippy. Bring me back some food. See ya, Zippy. Oh, sure. We'll see you again, for sure. Soon for sure. All right. Let's go do some Scorch Oil rounds real quick. Um, Because we have to defeat the base. There we go. Uh -oh. I'm more sorcerers. Um, it, okay, it depends on your flying style. So first of all, let's remember that. So if you really like sorcerers, keep sorcerers on your roster. Um, there are a few um, hunters that you need on your roster, no matter what. You need at least two good leads, um, depending on the base. So two diverse leads. So I think Necrix and Housit are two great dragons to have for leaders. I think you need a hunter to clean up. So something that can deal a lot of damage. Um, you need Death Gaze on your roster or Umbral Spike. So that could be Tengu, um, you know, all manner of things. And then you need your dragons that you really enjoy flying. So... Kanariku does not still do that. No, that expired well over a year ago, unfortunately. Els, Mama Red here would be getting a uh, three times uh, inner fire boost every single run. Hell yeah. Bring back Kanariku. Motherfuckers. Um, Avatush, restart your Twitch, my friend. That is a Twitch thing. The stream is still going perfectly fine here. I have half catabled eggs. How to get the other half? Follow a breeding pass, sharp eyes. So what's your breeding pass say? Does your breeding pass say that you're going to get all of catabled? Uh, Manhattan sucks. <laughs> Manhattan is gorgeous as hell. Um, one of the best looking dragons, in my opinion, especially with the spells and the laser beam. Um, but Manhattan is the worst of the mythics um, in Sapphire. I would say Hauset is a, without a doubt, number one. Anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know how to fly. Um, Apophit's number two. Definitely has good dragon. Definitely has a lot of good uses. Um, and Manhattan is definitely number three. So. Um, Merit, but no death gaze specifically. Yeah. No, I'm not saying, sorry, Griffin, I wasn't being clear. I don't mean like to bring back Kanarku just for those of us that have it. I mean, like bring back that style of divine. I would totally get a seasoned dragon that's shitty, but gives me an inner fire boost. Are you kidding? Wouldn't you guys do that? I would. So I think they should, you know, give another dragon that's similar to Rave Kanara. So that way we can give this inner fire boost, yo. Laser beam. Do you guys not know about Manhattan? <laughs> Let me show you. I have all the sapphires, by the way. So I'm not just talking shit. All right. Let me get my laser beam out. Mm -mm. I have to get them out on my main. So you guys are hanging out on my mini. So just a second. Get them out. Mm -mm. And then I'll back up with this one. So warriors. Oh, too far. Sapphire. Manhattan. Okay. Dupe. Avatush, I have no idea what's going on, honey. Is anyone else seeing a black screen? Manhattan is definitely cooler looking than Scar. Hell yeah. So, Griffin, I hope they bring back Kanaraku version 2. <laughs> Kanaraku Jr. Can we do that? So, let's go hit this. Going in with Scorchel. We'll clean up with Manhattan so you guys can see the awesomeness that he is. Alright. Yeah, it must be Twitch, darling. I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. 
Um, Forge, we're talking about... Uh, no, Kin is not a good cleanup dragon. Is that what you're talking about, Forged? I don't know if you're talking about Kanaraku, if you're talking about Kanaris. So let me know which one you're talking about. And then we'll continue this conversation once I'm well informed. I don't know. Wouldn't that be neat if we had some PvP dragons? I thought that'd be cool. I don't know, Griffin. So much is in the forums, especially since Joe left. Nothing makes sense anymore. Got further the first time. Yeah, well, that well, Kanaraku wasn't easy to get, so keep that in mind as well. Um, I spent to get Kanaraku back in the day to a point where he was useful. It wasn't something that a free player could get um, easily. It was it was really difficult for. But, oops, I'm supposed to use Manhattan. Sorry. Here comes Manhattan. Okay, so this is Manhattan. He has some fabulous stuff. Um, and if you take a look at that little sun symbol that's starting to turn blue, that is his radiance. Um, and using that is going to allow us to get a laser beam shortly. So, Then a sharp eye, that means that you're not going to get the other half, which is perfectly fine because Calibog isn't that good. But if you really want the other half, I can do it. So, doop -a doop Okay. We gotta fill up that radiance beater in order to get our laser beam. Woohoo! All right, we have radiance. So you can see Mahatn is glowy as shit. Um, actually, Havoc Reed, if you guys have seen him in chat before, he actually designed all of these um, graphics here. So radiance does an explosion, and then we have a motherfucking laser beam. We've got a laser beam. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Do you guys see this shit? How's it? Or not how's it? Manhattan has a laser beam. I love it. Is he a good dragon? No. Does he look fucking awesome? Hell yeah. An awesome looking dragon. One of the best looking dragons I think there is. Oh, hell yeah. He could die. <laughs> Woo! So that is Manhattan with the laser beam. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm. So, Ant, you will see me go live. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, so it's our pajama stream. I go live at 10 p.m., uh, which is 26 hours from now. Manhattan is hell yeah awesome. <laughs> Dally. Jack, is it the best shit ever? You enjoying trying to figure out what we're talking about with motherfucking laser beams? <laughs> I love you guys so much. Okay, so we're going to heal this motherfucker. So we can take him off of our roster. Kanaraku! Have I shown you guys my favorite divine ever? So we need to have a moment. You guys want to see the fucking prettiest dragon, though? Because I'll show you. Wait, where are you? <gasps> no, I don't have him on this account. So I forgot I was on the wrong account. I have Dima on my, one of my other accounts, and he's gorgeous as shit. I forgot. I got really excited to show you guys Dima, and then I realized I don't have him. So. <laughs> Laser also peels his storm shields and ice shields. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Still not good, though. Um. Wait, what? What are you asking, Average? I don't know what you're asking. A Viren Malaysia! Yeah, King! <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. PJ just hooked me up for the mistake and go just, yay! Texas, I'm so happy then. Yep, 10 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, we're gonna do um, talk in depth about um, what um, token missions are and how to do that best. So, freaking laser, freaking dragons with freaking laser memes on their freaking heads. <laughs> Uh, motherfuckers ringing in my ear I can watch only listen <laughs> I love it Dima I love Dima one of my favorite dragons back in the day <laughs> yeah there are a lot of cool things um, in Obsidians I really like the graphics that's going on so the time for the stream I'm used to military <laughs> sorry so it is at 2200 uh, Eastern <laughs> if that makes your life a little bit easier um, average so Let's see here. Let's talk about rushing token missions. So I rush below an hour, below two hours, below four hours. That's my rule. One, two, four. Easy enough. This is below one. Rush. 
We have to go do damage with house it. Easy enough because we got to level house it up more anyway. <laughs> Fair, bro. Thanks for the follow, Pippin. All right, so I'll probably. Uh, these are gonna take too long. I'm actually gonna take house it off. Thanks for the follow. Uh, is it Caroline? Caroline? Carolina? Carolina? All right. I should. Yeah. I know I need to do XP runs, but I really should just do Ember missions like a big kid. <gasps> but I forgot to take screenshots. But that's okay because we're on video. Um, so Mac and I are having a competition of who can farm the most tokens. <laughs> we'll see who wins. Mech might beat me. Mech is really, really fucking good at farming tokens. And I'm out of practice. Yeah, this is... I don't want to do this. I need to get Ember in my roster and stop being a little shit. Okay. Boo-boo! Hey, boo-boo. All right, we're going to do this real kid way. All right, see you in a few minutes, Griffin. I have to get another beer soon. All right. I made a stupid mistake. <laughs> Bringing about 3K tokens a day casually. Nice. I got a couple of incubator. Hell yeah. Well done, fantastic. Uh, why do you take screenshots of chest being open? Um, because I have often, and by often I mean more than once, run into situations where I wasn't actually given the items from the chest because I keep track uh, very, very, very closely of what items I get. And since I didn't get the items, the only way I could prove that I was supposed to get those items was saying, hey, support. I was supposed to get this. Hey, support, look at what I had before I started opening chests. Look at what I have now. Obviously, I'm missing stuff. So, that moment you incubate the wrong dragon. Ah, oh, Elzir, that sucks. Nice, Sardak. That is fantastic. Boobo, you crack me up so much. All right, let's do missions the right way, dragon. Right, right, guys. So, with the right dragons here. So, we're going into our hunters. We're going to take off Frost and house it. And Necrix, and that should clean us up. There we go. Now like a big kid. So I'm, I know, I know I should just finish that, but Ember. <laughs> I, I don't get multiple dragons at a time, so it doesn't happen. Two with Ember, Ven. Why'd you get Donnie, Avi? He is a cute little shit. And if you're a collector, I suppose that makes sense. Check the egg pattern three times. I hope it's Calvin. I don't need the two till later. <laughs> I'll cross my fingers for you, uh, Nantastic. I'm sure it is Calvin, because that is what you need. Doop. All right. Wait 13 seconds for him to heal. Yeah, now this is just token months. The dodos look like shaved ball sacks. <laughs> Let's be honest. So dodo looks like a shaved ball sack, and dodo pure looks like a ball sack that really has some disease that you really don't want to have to deal with. Um, and Donna Phyllis just also looks like a diseased shaved ball sack, so... What happened was that uh, I was doing the trick the team talked about. So every 1,500 tokens, I was going to stop, breed, and then restart, and I clicked incubate. Oh, <gasps> that sucks. That sucks. Admit it. Dodo looks like a shaved ball sack. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. Can't be unseen. I'm telling you. I am really telling you. Yeah, flying pluck turkeys are limp phallus. It's, no, it's mostly ball sack. So for you ladies or you gentlemen who are of age in here, um, which you should be because this content is marked mature. Hell yeah. Um, so it's like you see that guy that has mostly ball sack and then it's got like a tiny dick and then you realize they're a grower because they have a giant ball sack for a reason. That's what I feel like Dodo is. So sorry for the TMI graphicness of that, but Dodo is a fucking shaved ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Fair bro understands me. Flying butt plug. <laughs> he is. He has a shaved ball sack. Uh, Nada Marie. 
<laughs> sorry. Sorry that your other half doesn't understand. Life lessons from Red. Hell yeah. <laughs> As a low-level player, what level would you say is good to get um, Whale and Collins? <gasps> Let's go talk about my chicken, shall we? Mm, I think we shall. So uh, let's go to doop -a doop -a doop here. We'll go open up check-in. Ba, 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 ba. I'm fantastic. I think I'm hilarious. I don't care what you think about me. Um, as long as I know I'm hilarious, that's all that matters. So I believe, let's see if this is a command in chat. Yay! So you can get this link if you go and check in chat there um, as soon as it loads. <laughs> so this is my dragon check-in here. Um, you can click the how to use tab if you're really confused on what's going on. So it talks about um, how to use it, what the different check-ins are, why you might want to use it, what type of player you should be if you use it, etc, etc, etc. Um... I'm not wrong. Of course I'm not wrong. Oops, somebody's attacking me. I'm going to defend while we do this. Okay, so if we take a look here, um, it depends on this. So legendary golds, you can kind of take a look at the spread here. Sorry, someone's hitting with me. Canaris, what level Canaris? Sapphire, okay. I want to shoot you down just for the shits and giggles. Give me a second. Okay, actually, do you guys want to see this? Here. Bye bye, Canaris. The earliest you can get is 70, I think. We'll, we'll look. We'll look. Shoot that bitch down. <laughs> there she is, my flack. Do, 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 do. My flack, do, 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 do. My flack. Person who's using sorcerers, this isn't going to go well for you. <laughs> Love my flack cannon. I'm not giving you the password on the roulette site. <laughs> the password on the roulette site um, is just a password to get to our personal information. So for my team, we have who lives where. Are you dumb? Um, we have who lives where, what time zones we are, all its accounts. This person could just should have come in with death gaze. You're dumb. I'm sorry. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'm fantastic, Texas. We're just talking about the shaved ball sack. Shape Balsack Dodo. Hell yeah. Get your shit together. <laughs> Attacking me with two sorcerers and shit. Like, look at this. A 221. Attack me with level 35s. First of all, bitch, you should have higher level divines than 35 at that level. And a level 16 Scorchel? My Scorchel's probably higher than that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Okay. So this is my base. The 41 here is what he was struggling to take down. Um, anyway, let's go back to the check-in. Boop. So if we look at the legendary golds here, you can see, um, depending on the path, these are where legendary golds, oh, nope, it's this one, this, 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 and this. So for the rule of mandatory, they have to hatch um, legendary golds, this is not the right screen, they have to hatch legendary golds at 77, level 77, um, which is the earliest you can get it, I believe, da, da, da. that flak, hell yeah, level 41 flak. Uh, people, stupid people hit me all the time. So, um, legendary golds for Rulith, they have to have it at 77. That's the earliest you can get it. I recommend it for a casual player that you get it at 90. Um, things like that. <laughs> Madam Marie. He died. Oh, fly burnt, Paul Sack. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. I love that. I, Texas, I don't even know if, what the 1500 trick is um, to reset the servers. I don't know. I honestly don't know what it is. <laughs> So a guy last time who's top drag was sec him. My Gorgonzola is 27 and my Borgin is far past him. Well done, Jack. <laughs> uh, people don't do stuff well. That's what. So for instance, if you're 225, let's say you're a casual player. 225, you should really have at least two legendary garnets. Um, and my requirement in my team is they have to have a mythic garnet. And then at that point, <laughs> that is, I'll have my first legendary emeralds, um, expert legendary emerald, two of them by the time I turn 220 in my alt. So it's fun. But I like to carry a pharaoh pharaoh. Pharaoh pharaoh is so cute. I can call you fairs if you really want me to. 
Isn't Gorgonzola the best name for Gorgonos? I agree, right? So let's do... Sorry, I'll put you on my switching devices screen so you don't have to see all the junk that I do in order to get this shit off the screen. Anyway, so you guys can see my... Um, what you want to call it? My chat or my check-in, blah, blah, blah. It's in chat now. So you guys can take a look. Anyway, let's go back to token missions. Doop. <laughs> now you have cons. What's next? Uh, keep going on your path, Avatouche. So if you need uh, to help with that, go to Rulith. Oops. Exclamation point Rulith there. That'll give my Rulith team website. And I do have a cons path, a whale cons path and things like that. So wonder how that's player base. Oh, probably terrible. Should we go look? Let's go look. Next nice pronunciation of yours is, oh, how do you pronounce it? Tell me how to pronounce your name. And I'll promise I'll try to not pronounce it bad. Yay, you made it for stream. Welcome, geeky daddy. It was a mistake. I switched to my Gorgonzola and my team loved it, so I kept it. Holy shit, this pace sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be this mean. <laughs> this pace is hilarious. Oh my god. Like, what? What? What is this? Why? Why? What? Just, ugh. this is awful. We can't, like, I can't even count the things that are wrong with this base. It's too long. It's evenly built. The flat cannons are in terrible positions. The mage towers are just fucked up to shit. This is, uh, this is, oh my god, this base is so bad. This is, I don't even know if we can play the 10 mistakes game. They're like 40. Let's see if we can count the 10 mistakes. Um, so I'll give you guys a minute to list as many mistakes with this base as you can think of. And then I'll list 10 mistakes about this base to hopefully help you avoid these same mistakes in the future. Beat it with Ember. Oh, not that'd be that hard. Send me a message in game to my alt account, Pharaoh. She's a Toto. Ah! So this base, oh boy. Guys, got another minute to touch. Position of the mages. Yeah, that's, yeah. Blue should always be at the front of the island. Um, reds need to cover things. It's not, the mages just are a shit show. Um, he doesn't even have max mages, does he? One, two, three blues. No, he only has three out of five blues. He has one, two, three reds. No. Everything, everything is obviously the right answer here. Highest level tower is only 35. Yep. Mine at level 158 is 41. <laughs> the perch. Yep. I just, the perches aren't probably not being well utilized there. It's all for damage and shit. It's no game when there's a base in that dire of an issue. I know, right? Everything. This is just, mages are too low level. Okay. Let's go through this. First of all, your flat cannon, no matter where it is, um, needs to be in the front three spots. Your dark flat cannon needs to be in the front three spots. You guys will notice my favorite spot for the dark flat cannon is where the storm is on this. I'll show you my bases after this. Um, it needs to be protected. Every flat cannon should be good. Dark flat cannon should be protected by red, blue, ice, and storm. Ideally, that'd be the best situation. So these flat cannons are a shit show. Farms should never be in the back of your Long Island. That's how it used to be um, when farms were weak. But now farms have a lot of health, which is really helpful. I recommend your farm at the front of this island here or on this island with a warrior uh legendary mythic warrior to up their hp um your strongest tower should be in a long island your long your island hmm, your base should be no longer than past this flat cannon here this small island should be low level mage towers as a rage drain these islands should not exist um fire flex suck unfortunately there aren't enough mages to cover everything this is just uh, I, this is just bad. This is just so bad. I, uh, 22 million. Yep, that's... It's easier to correct what's... Easier to count what is correct. Uh-huh. I feel so blind. <gasps> it's just... Uh, it's just... It's just not bad. It's, it's just not good. It's just not good. Um, I'll show you guys my base. Um, obviously, I've made mistakes on my base before. Uh -huh. Hi, Carolina. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well done. Um, well, let's go take a look at my main account. Doop, doop. 
So let me, let's talk about bases. So this is my base. This is 259, um, defense power of 133 million um, via this screen. <sighs> so let me tell you why I like my base this way. I'm definitely not saying this is the best base setup ever, um, but let me tell you why. Um, I like the rage drain. <laughs> the only good thing is it's boosted, boobo. I like this rage drain. So I should probably swap those blues out for lower levels. I just haven't bothered because I'm lazy. I can always, because I have a great connection, get at least two super shots off with my mage, Rage Drain Island here at the Mages to ensure that my attacker has zero rage when coming to my actual towers. So this is really helpful when I'm defending. Um, the only dragon that can really actively avoid this um, is Zamrock. So Zamrock just has Mystic Winds, so... Yeah, five times that other base. Uh-huh. So, um, Red, why do people on Dreadnought have their islands built by the flat in Dark Flag plus Red and two Blue Mages and two Ice Turrets? Um, and I think it has more to do with the style of wars they see. Um, they're probably doing stuff to protect against Noctua. Um, you would really have to ask a Dread player because their needs of war and things like that are definitely different than mine. So I'd be happy to poke Panda and a couple of the Dread players and see why. So, <laughs> so um, Rage Drain, that's why. Here you can see this is my ideal front setup um, in the front. I have my Dark Fleck in the center, which is protected by red, a blue, a storm, and an ice. Um, with myself defending, it just makes all the difference in the world. I keep my Dark Fleck alive using the ice and the storm. Um, it's great. People typically don't have rage. And while they're doing that, the fire flag I'm not a fan of. I built it to 40 and then realized I hated it, regretted it, but it's still 40. Put it there. The ice also protects the storm. Once this front ice is down, it protects this blue. This blue helps me against um, leads with house it because they don't have enough rage to sand that one as well. I have my farms here on the small island due to the needs of my team and my base in war. Um, the need is just to avoid getting five flames. And if they can miss my farms awesome. Um, so the red is there to avoid double crumble and to get one super shot off if I can. I have a warrior there in order to increase the HP of my farms and mills. And then this is just my leftover towers, um, just in case one extra hit kills them. That's, that's that. So dread is, so a lot of people don't realize how awesome dread is. Dread isn't just awesome because they're spenders. Dread has been playing this game all, most of them longer than me. Um, they're a well fucking oiled machine. They have really clear set standards. Um, they just know what they're doing and they're competitive. They're number one. And they, they're all these things for a reason. Dread is a fan fucking tastic team. So snaps up to dread. This is my big base. Um, it's level 259 made obvious mistakes. Um, know that with the perch, yeah, Zardak, perch with the extra 50% on it is, is huge. So my perch here, if the perch is destroyed, the bonus is also destroyed. So if you're trying to go against farms and it has a perch, take that perch out and it'll really help you out. Um, it saves a couple of taps here. So let me go to switching devices and we're going to pull up my main account so we can look at my mini account, if that makes sense. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So basically, just be like dread no life in a game. Well, they just play effectively is, is really what that is. So I'm glad that the videos are helpful. Yay. I'll never let them see my game and I don't want to die. <laughs> All right. This is my mini base. Um, so it's level 158. Uh, defense power currently of 13 million from this view. You can see that I had the same front setup as my main with the um, red, blue, fleck, um, storm ice. Um, this account, my goal is not to level up very fast. So otherwise I would have 41s all in front, but I don't want to level up. I would rather stay tiny as long as I can. So Dota Pure steel, um, cannot currently be bred. So if, unless you got Dota Pure last breeding event, you cannot get Dota Pure right now. Um, what do you mean perch a bonus? So let's go take a look at purchase. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So if you put a mythic or a legendary dragon on a perch, you can see, I think I have Kaiju here. Yeah. So if you put a mythic or legendary here, my game would load, um, they give a bonus. So let's go to change dragon. 
You'll see here, if the dragon is legendary or mythic, it gives an extra bonus. So warriors give a health bonus. You can see there and highlighted there with Kaiju, um, a tower health bonus. You can see that sorcerers give a super shot boost, meaning there's a chance that you could get an extra super shot or the super shot doesn't cost anything. I can never remember which. And then uh, hunters like Rizar do a tower attack boost. So that is the boost for the purge. I'm sorry, Avatouche. I don't think... I know I don't think I have anything extra running. I just checked. So I'm sorry. My upload speed's still looking okay. Maybe it's Twitch. Twitch has been really freaking out recently. So these are the bonuses there, Sharp Eye. If you put a legendary above Dragon on a perch, it gives bonuses. But you can see if I scroll over here um, to Kulan, who's not legendary, you can see they don't give any bonuses there. So, yep. All right. We're going to go back to Mini Baby Red because Mini Baby Red's got some Ember missions to do. Yeah. I love seeing all these new faces in stream, by the way. And by new faces, obviously, I mean new names. Uh, you guys are so much fun. I love streaming. Um, and if you guys don't know, I stream because it's a fuck ton of fun. Oh, somebody was supposed to mail me. I was going to look at Pharaoh Pharaoh's stuff. Thanks for the follow, Tiger5159. Happy to have you on stream. Um, make sure you guys are following me. Tap the screen. Make sure the heart is filled in. If so, I do uh, tiny giveaways every Sunday. Hopefully, we'll be doing a bigger giveaway um, on another stream, maybe pajama night. Who knows? Um, I stream regularly every Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, but I also stream other random days. And if you follow me over there on Twitter, The Red Delilah on Twitter, you will be able to see when I go live because I make things there. Hey, Red Leprechaun. Nice to see you. Congrats on your chest win on the official War Dragons stream. Congratulations. Super jelly, but hey, you know what? I'm glad that you got it. Um, but you can follow there. So on Thursday nights, we do onesie streams and pajama streams. So I put on a different onesie. Um, last Thursday, I put on like this red dragon onesie I got from Target. It's fabulous. Um, but I have a different one for Thursday. And I also drink most every single stream. Um, speaking of which, I need to get another beer in a second. Thank you for the follow, Masters at Euro MP. Thank you, thank you. Um, so Thursday is pajama night. Uh, Friday is just kind of we chill, we hang out. Um, it's a little bit earlier in the day. And then Sunday is mimosas, which is lovely. Thank you for following Le Red Leprechaun. And Sunday is also the tiny giveaway. So we drink. I give you guys tiny packs. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good goodie time. It's Jewish New Year. So, hey, yeah, it's Ramadan, isn't it? Or no, uh, Rosh Hashanah. That's what it is. It is Rosh Hashanah at sunup. Is that right? So yeah. Red, the only stream, um, the only red stream you can see more than once a month. What? Boo boo, you confuse me. The only red stream you could see more than once. I don't know what you're saying to me right now. <gasps> oh no, I had food. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. Oh well. Um, drinking on stream is the goals right there. Hell yeah. I love drinking. Drinking makes the world a better place. Damn it. I can't believe I lost that much food. Well, congratulations to AJ, I guess, for stealing all my fucking shit. <sighs> That's what I get. That's what I get. So yeah, how's it going, guys? I'm just gonna keep doing some token missions until, uh... I'll tell you guys ask some questions. We'll probably stream for maybe 20 more minutes. I don't know. I need more beer, though. That's for fucking sure. I don't usually war dragon sober. Booba, I'm really confused, and I feel like you. this is a joke and that you have to explain it to me. So, uh, please. <laughs> Aw, I love you too, Nasty. You're such a sweetie. I love ya. How many token missions do you do a day? Uh, it depends on my day. So I try to do at least uh, five or six. But doing the Ember token mission, which we're going to go really into depth on how to effectively do token missions tomorrow. That's like the goal of this. Speaking of which, did I even remember... Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to do token missions um, like a crazy person. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it, but I'll give you the basic rundown. Boobo, explain the joke. I need to know. Um, I've only been paying for the novices or the expert when the cost is less than 60 rubies. So the easy way that I do is if it's um, tokens versus ruby payout, it's 
uh, Mech did this whole, Mech and Egg, if you guys don't know him, um, he did this whole chart for us. If the first one, you could rush any time. The second one, rush if it's below two hours. And the last one, rush if it's below four hours. And that is the best Ruby payout you can get. So, my ear is burning with all the profanity. Oops. What other red stream? Oh! <laughs> Positively dying. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Nashi. Um, I just, I, I Boobo, I love you. <laughs> Boobo made the best fucking joke. Jesus. Oh, I'm so happy. Red Leprechaun says, "My baby all has Ember. Is he worth upgrading?" No. Ah, all of you, if you don't have Ember, get Ember, leave him at level one, and he'll be your token mission king. So, if we take a look here, you guys can see I have Ember here. If I wanted to train him, he obviously has enough to level up if I chose to buy the stones, blah, blah, blah. But the best part, he has 30 second heal time, which makes him excellent for missions. So if we go here with only, hold on. So take a look at my roster. Ember is the only dragon here. Your dragon missions are based on who's on your roster, obviously. So look, I have to destroy four ice turrets, and let's go do that. One of the few jokes that was funnier after I had to explain it. I agree. Oh, I'm sorry, Lady Cram. Never upgrade Ember. Spread the word. All right, let's see. Who has... I need to do ice turrets, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go use micro deck. <laughs> oh jeez, Boobo, that absolutely killed me. Like I, that, that is my new favorite joke ever. Oh. I even I don't know what his heal time is at like level six and whatnot. Um, but it can't be too bad. No worries, my friends. I just like Ember. He has Death Gaze at level one, which makes him fantastic. Um, that's one of the biggest things here. So we're gonna swap because we don't want to die. We got our four things. <sighs> You can ask support if they'll roll it back. They might not always do so, though. That's for sure. Um, hey, welcome back, Palex. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, hey, Red, one of my teammates is using your guides, and one of the steps says N plus hugging for your new at 20. So, Myra, that should be updated. This, that was a mistake. Um, that was just a typo. Let me look real quick. Uh-uh-uh. So the lady red dot ruleth dot there we go. Let me double check because I'm pretty sure I recognize that mistake, but I thought I fixed that. I loved it, Boobo. Boobo, you're my favorite. Okay, I'll look at that in just a sec. So taking a look at the website, it did say that Myra, but it was updated. So. Nope, nope, there's a, nope, that one's right. Nope, they should all be updated on Myra. So that means your teammate might be going off of a screenshot. Please make sure that everyone is following my Breeding Pest live. So either on the Ruleth website or on um, my Google Sheet. So that way I can always fix it and update them. So just got a a Do you know the problems with the Southern Cross? Only works 70% of the time for me. So you're talking about the new glitch out that's happening with Southern Cross? Unfortunately, that's been happening for the past like two weeks for me. Yeah. Um, yep, that's about right. What's well, 46 something? Boobo, you are my five right now. I love it. Oh, oh email. That's right. 
Let's go look at your base. So I'll give you some basic advice. If you guys want some more detailed advice from me about what you can do to upgrade your base, send me a message online. I really lose track of in-game mails. Um, I get a lot of mail. <laughs> so add me online. My line name is Red Delilah. Same as on Twitch, except there's no the. So um, let's take a looky loo here. I like that your lightings are back. I think that's fantastic. I would really recommend that your flat cannon, because it is a higher level for your towers, um, this flat cannon here, I would put it up front over here. Um, so let's see if I can do this quickly. Flat cannon, where cannon is. Swap your fire flak and your storm or something like that. So that way things can protect. Or if you want to follow the super red path here, um, you can mimic what I have for my ideal setup, which would be blue, red, flak, ice, or storm, ice, be ideal. I like that you have lightning towers in the back. I think that is good. I do think that three mage towers is good for the long island. Um, so don't build evenly, my friend. Building evenly will kill you. So make sure you pick five towers. Upgrade those more than anything else. Um, and then put your farms either up front here or put your farms here. So you might want to put them here. Would be good things to do. So if you want me to draw that out, I typically draw pictures. Do I have any base pictures over here? Yeah, I do. So if people ask me for base advice, I usually do this. So I might green screen it out. There we go. I draw people pictures. Um, when I design the bases so I can tell them why they should do things a certain way. So what base did I just use for Ember? Sure, I'll show you guys my mission bases here. Um, when I ask for base help, but I know it's bad, I don't want to appear to be ripped apart. <laughs> so average, like I said, if you guys want some private base advice, add me online. My line ID is Red Delilah. Just be patient with me. If I don't respond within two days, send me a reminder message and I'll get back to you. Um, hey, Arison. So let's go take a look at my bookmarks and I'll tell you for other things. PG may have just helped me get through. <gasps> Texas, what? I do handwrite people's name too, Pyra. So you can see this was four. Let's see. Don't green screen it out. You can do it. So this is for VETC Dreamer. You can see up here. Doop -doop. And sometimes I even draw a picture of Castle. <laughs> oh, Steel Mag. <laughs> Uh, sent me a line. Okay, I'll definitely check it. There's uh, our guild base building site. Oh, that's super sweet. Thanks for sharing. I hope it's good. <laughs> Griffin, do I owe you stuff? Griffin, if I owe you stuff, send me a message. You guys know I'm awful. I'm absolutely awful. I get too many messages, so I always get behind. Here, have a picture of Merlin, my cute little Thai dragon, to make up for, up for my mistakes and my sadness. This is Merlin. Look at him. Look at his little derpy face. Isn't he cute? So, yeah, guys, send me a message um, online. I'm happy to help you guys out. I love designing bases for people, um, things like that. If I disagree with the advice, let me know. Let's go look. Let me go click on it and chat. Doop -doop -doop -doop. <laughs> All right, let's, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to put you guys in switching devices just really quick here. Uh, uh, uh. All right. I haven't read anything this event. I'll get Gloomclaw on my main and probably Anapa on my alt. Oh, Griffin, you're such a sweetheart. I know, I'm hilarious. I'm sorry this stream is freezy. Oh, good night, Abatouche. Okay. I disagree with this front setup. Um, so the blue mage up front, if it says right here, let me zoom in so you guys can read this too. So it says blue mage up front to counter thunderstorm from dragons like Sage. That doesn't actually work. Sage can still cast thunderstorm. The best way to um, counter it is with a rage drain island like I have on my own bases and any base I design will have a rage drain. So that's not true. Um, red mage in the center to counter earthquake with Canaris. Again, if you have a rage drain, um, earthquake isn't a problem. Storm tower back to make it more difficult to kill. I agree with that. Dark flak up front because of its short range. Eh, um, I like my dark flak in the middle. 
but I, I, I don't disagree. I just don't like that as much. Um, last shot goes to Ice Threat. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Ice gives more protections to shields. I agree with that. Da 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 da. Back half of Long Island. Blue Mage to keep shields down. Yes, Blue Mage, but not to keep shields down. It's actually to prevent house it. Um, no Raid Mage or second Blue Mage. Uh, depends on your level. If you're over 300, yes, a second Red Mage. If you're under 300, no. Um, due to Mages up front and Blue Mage in back, Dragon should have zero Rage at this point. Dragon shouldn't have any Rage to start with because you should have a Rage Drain Island. Um, all the towers should be damaged. Towers not flight due to range. Yes, um, and I don't like having three lightnings um and this is why lightning towers are great if you have super shots to use but because of dark flax we never have any super shots left to use and without a super shot lightning tower is actually incredibly weak so if you're to the point where you can swap out your lightning towers for archers and more diverse towers get rid of your lightnings if it's possible for your level um or just have two because without a super shot lightnings are really 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 weak i agree average dark flax in the middle is much more effective I think so too. Um, duh, duh. I wanted something that didn't use projectiles, but it was an ice fire dark. So, uh, like I said, I disagree with using lightnings. Um, I think having a more diverse thing with projectiles. Oops, sorry. This is not the widest thing that here. This will be wider. Um, I think having more diversity is better than having three lightnings. Um, lightning is definitely not the best damage tower. Um, aren't three lightning towers better than three archers? Can you only charge three lightning? They don't like me charged with 75. Da, 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 da. So with the back of my base, um, you guys looked at my bases before. I never use my super shots on the back of my base. It's always on storms, ice, flak, mages. That's all I super shot. That is literally it. I've never super shot at the back of my base unless it's against a really low level. Um, it's, two, <laughs> it's 247. It's schooled them out. Uh, I've schooled them out too. I feel you. Mm-hmm. Average. So, uh, I don't like this. I like it. I like farms on this island. I don't like the defense tower. I think red is better. Um, if you have one super shot left, you can keep them from using double crumble, but that's personal. Um, shorter base is better. Yes. Lightning range. Lightnings do have a longer range, but so uh, some of this I agree with. Some of this I, uh, some of this I disagree with. So I'm going to take this back to my other monitor. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. So I'm going to put you guys on switching devices here. All right, we're going to push you guys all the way back. Give me just a hot second. And I'm going to put this on a different thing. Da, 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 da. And let me show you my mission bases here. Da, da, da. All right. Let's go take a look at my mission bases. We're only going to shoot for about 10 more minutes, guys. I I'm starting to wear out, and I need to have a beer and just chill and do some missions. So, Mrs. Mercy here. Mrs. Mercy is best for that Defeat X basis uh, mission with Ember. So, M-S-M-E-R-S-Y. Um, this is Mrs. Mercy. Fantastic base to use. And then other couple of things we have are Microdoc. Microdoc is great for defeat X bases um, because they're all level one or X towers with a dragon, things like that. So that's Microdoc. Not mini doc, it's micro doc. Um, Ash Z is really good for do X damage. So I use Ash Z when I have to use a certain amount of damage with Ember because I can death gaze those farms. A-S-H-Z-Y, Ash Z. <laughs> Um, and then I also have mission base. This is just also like micro deck level ones, um, but slightly different setup where the storms or the lightnings are up front, which is helpful. So Texas, I'll look at your base. If you text me online, uh, <laughs> at least don't I have to deal with hearing the same lecture from teachers about every day about behavior. Um, Pharaoh, I am that teacher <laughs> too hyped to quit. I'm sorry. We're having fun. Ah, Bobo, are you going to, ah, how do you spell your line ID? I will type it in to chat. Just give me a second here. My red's line ID. There you go. There's my line ID. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. So you guys can add me. Happy to have you. Again, be patient, but if I don't respond in like two days, message me back so I can not ignore you because that would be, that would be nice. So. Yes, Griffin, would you please message me in line, darling? 
I need you to remind me to help you. <laughs> okay. Where are we at globally now? <laughs> 41. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Let's do another mission together. Da -da -da. Booba, I, th I don't know how much longer I can go, my friend. Can you hover back over your XP bases? Sure. Get a pen and pencil, yo. So I have to successfully attack two bases. Let me go show you those. So, bases that I have bookmarked. Mrs. Mercy at the very top here. This is a completely empty base, as you can see here. Great base to do. Um, I don't know. Chest base I don't use. I just use it for low levels that need it. Um, Average says, awesome. I'll deal with my base being destroyed. It really needs help badly. I'm severely overleveled with my defense, but I'm catching up on mistakes. Hey, at least you're making, mis making help. Here you go, Sharp Eye. Here's some. Oh, Griffin. You got to help me. I help you. <laughs> All right, so Miss Mercy is empty. Um, Males is max XP for anyone, like 142 and below. Males is pretty easy. This was my old XP base. This here is uh, Allah, is what I call him Zzz, right now. Message him and keep an outgoing message to him at all times because he changes his names all the time here. Wait, what? I missed it. Okay, hold on. What is with all the period jokes? Oh my, don't you dare pull this string on this red stream. <sighs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Booba, you are like my favorite person in the world right now. You are so funny. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the other XP bases I have here, if you guys want to take a look. So micro doc Ash Z is very important to do X damage. Um, I don't know why I have that death doctor. Oh, this death doctor's person only had farms and stuff out, but he might be coming out. Lego, I had up for some reason. I'm just, just taking up space right now. Uh, fairy knight, mission base, um, things like this. So <laughs> average is slow, just like me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So here are my XP bases. We good? All right. If you need anything, ask me a line. I'll send these to you. Let's do two runs here. Boobo cracks me up. <laughs> my team is just a shit show. It's just a mix of all these insane, insane people. And if you guys ever have the pleasure of meeting my team in Lee chat, just... Just talk to Dino. Um, I can't understand a single fucking word that Dino says, but he is the funniest little person, and he just cracks me up. <laughs> All right, I'm glad you got it taken care of, Sharp Eye. You're welcome. You're welcome. Happy to help. Two seconds. One second. Go. Boop. All right. Boop. There we go. Yay. Okay. So let's talk about making plans for things. So first step, breeding path. Make sure you guys have a breeding path. If you don't have a breeding path, <laughs> you guys can hear my dogs playing. Um, if you guys don't have a breeding path, make sure you guys get one. It's super important to your gameplay. Um, I'd say it's necessary at green tier and above, and it's helpful um, below that. When you get to Sephar, you need a breeding path. Ask for help. Ask for advice from people actually know what they're talking about. Um, a lot of times I'll give you guys my opinions, but there are some of my opinions that sh are shared by a majority of the game, um, especially these high-level game players. So happy to share my opinions with you and help out and things like that. So breeding paths are really important. Second thing, have a base plan. Like I said, this is my favorite um, front of the Long Island setup. So if you're flying, you're going to look at it from this direction. The storm protects the flak, the ice protects the storm and the flak, the red protects the flak, and the blue uh, protects from shields. But that only works with this rage drain island here. You can see that my rage drain is all level one on this um, base here. That rage drain, if you have a good connection, you can get two super shots off defending yourself, and they will have zero rage when coming against this island. So there's no death gaze here and there. It, it's, it's fantastic. So have a plan for building. That's really important. Have a breeding path, have a plan for building. Um, know what you're doing in your research. I am done on research just because research is too expensive for me at this point to keep up with. Um, 
<laughs> know what you're doing with your building research. Um, season planning. Make sure you've planned your season accurately. Now that Necrix is no longer half off, my recommendation is that all players go to Chimrax line, which again, make sure you're looking if it's bonus or not. Get the 100% token boost. This is fantastic for active players. And if you want to catch up with your dragons, this is what you need. So it doesn't stack with breeding, um, breeding event bonuses, but it is an absolutely fantastic thing to get. And I think it's absolutely necessary for players to get. This is the next thing that I will be going for here. So love this. Make sure you get this for season planning. After you get this 100% token bonus, wait until we see this dragon, which is on October 3rd. Um, we can, can see, right, boop, 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 there we go. Um, wait until the dragon comes out and hoard your sigils just for a little bit longer. Because if you keep hoarding your sigils even after this comes out, you can let all the whales test the dragon and tell you if it's good or not. So wait for them to do all the, like, testing, and then you can deal with the rest. So I will tell you as a reminder that the high level warriors are just definitely not good. So if you're low level and you want Chimrak, just because he looks pretty neat, you really dig his spells, cool. Don't get him past Platinum or Sapphire because he will just be absolutely useless in Garnet and above. So keep that in mind. So plan your breeding path, plan your base, plan your season. Um, just make sure you're really prepared on what's going on. Things like this. Hi, dogs. How's it Hi, Conan. You hang out on the stream? You see the big fluffy head right here? Hi. Puppy, puppy needs attention. So that's that. Tomorrow we're going to be going in depth on how to best do token missions. We're going to be token missions so much, doing a lot of breeding pass stuff as soon as I get the game files for that. It has been so much fun hanging out with you guys. 60 people on the stream for the entire stream is fantastic. I hope you learned something. I learned some fantastic jokes at the very least. It's been a great time. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, guys. And I will see you tomorrow for our pajama stream. So get your pajamas, get your beer, and get ready to have a damn good time with dragons. So I love you guys. Have a fantastic night.